Susan St. James is an American actress and activist, most widely known for her work in television during the 1960s, 1970s, and 1980s. Early life, born Susan Jane Miller in Los Angeles, California, to a Connecticut family, St. James was raised in Rockford, Illinois, where she began modeling as a teenager. In her younger school years she attended the Woodlands Academy of the Sacred Heart in Lake Forest, Illinois. She later attended the Connecticut College for Women. Career She moved to California at age 20, when she began her acting career. Her first screen role was in the TV movie Famous The Name of the Game with Tony Franciosa, launching her career when the film became a series two years later. Among her other early television appearances were two episodes of the first season of Ironside. She also had a supporting role in Where Angels Go, Trouble Follows, the sequel to The Trouble with Angels. From 1968 to 1971, as a result of her very first role in Famous The Name of the Game, she had a regular part in the series The Name of the Game, winning an Emmy Award for her role as research assistant Peggy Maxwell in 1969 and establishing her as a popular young actress. She provided series continuity by appearing as a key supporting character in most episodes regardless of whether the lead that week was either of the three regular leads Tony Franciosa, Jean Barry, Robert Stack, or special guest leads Peter Falk, Robert Culp, Darren McGavin, or Robert Wagner, all of whom helmed episodes in the revolving wheel format, while the first season story Pineapple Rose prominently featured her when her character is kidnapped in a case of mistaken identity. In 1967 she had a small part in the pilot episode of the Robert Wagner crime caper series It Takes a Thief. This led to a recurring role playing a new character, Charlene Chuck Brown, Alexander Mundy's fellow thief and friend with benefits. She was featured in four episodes of the series from 1968 to 1970. She then went on to appear in the pilot episode of the western series Alias Smith and Jones. Then came her first starring role as Rock Hudson's younger supportive wife, Sally McMillan, in the popular, light-hearted crime drama, McMillan and Wife, for which she received four Emmy Award nominations. She left the show to further her career as an actress in feature films such as co-starring with Peter Fonda in the film Outlaw Blues. She achieved a significant success in the vampire comedy Love at First Bite. Between films she made a guest appearance in the March 3, 1980 episode of MASH. After other film ventures failed to establish her, she returned to television, appearing in the comedy series Kate and Ally opposite Jane Curtin from 1984 until 1989. She received three more Emmy Award nominations for this role. St. James also was a celebrity and commentator for World Wrestling Federation's WrestleMania II event in 1986 along with Vince McMahon. In her mid-forties St. James proclaimed herself retired after Kate and Ali ended. In addition to motherhood, she's been an active volunteer with the Special Olympics. She has in the past also served on their board and served as Savitan International Celebrity Chairperson for their Special Olympics involvement. In 1998, St. James, her sister Mercedes Dewey and friend Barry Johnson founded Seedling and Pip, a baby gift basket business. She also is a board member of the Telluride Foundation. St. James occasionally has emerged from retirement to appear in television series guest roles, such as the mother of Krista Miller in the first season of The Drew Carey Show, and ten years later, as a defense attorney on the February 28, 2006, episode of Law & Order, Special Victims Unit. She also starred in a Warner Theatre 1999 production of The Miracle Worker. On June 11, 2008, St. James was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Personal Life St. James married aspiring writer-director Richard Newbert at age 21, but the marriage lasted only a year. She was married a second time in 1971, to Thomas Lucas, a makeup artist. They had a daughter, Sunshine Lucas, and a son, Harmony Lucas. The marriage lasted six years. While guest hosting Saturday Night Live in 1981, St. James met her third husband, then SNL executive producer Dick Ebersol. They married within a year. The marriage produced three sons, Charles, William, and Edward. 
In March 2002 St. James filed for divorce from Ebersol, but the couple reconciled later that summer. Ebersol was chairman of NBC Sports until May 2011. On November 28, 2004, a private plane carrying Ebersol and two of their sons crashed during an attempted takeoff from Montrose Regional Airport in Colorado. Ebersol and son Charles survived, but son Teddy, age 14, died, as did the pilot and flight attendant, Warren T. Richardson III. Teddy Ebersol's Red Sox Fields at Lederman Park is named in memory of St. James's son, and an episode of the television series Scrubs was dedicated to him. She is an aunt of actress Krista Miller. St. James holds honorary degrees from five Connecticut institutions a Euro the University of Connecticut, the University of Bridgeport, Southern Connecticut State University, Albertus Magnus College, and the University of New Haven. She was a featured speaker at the Women's Conference in 2007, at a session called Beyond Courage, Overcoming the Unimaginable. Filmography, Films, Television, References External links, Susan St. James at the Internet Movie Database.